Hey y'all, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Come on in and see what we've got for today's video. And if you are new here, I would appreciate it if you would kindly go down below and subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of my little flock. So, um, if you can see, there's a little bit of a change to my background. Um, this is my new feather baby. This is Tiki, and Tiki is a um, Latino cockatiel. So, um, Tiki is an all yellow bird and has the orange red patches on his cheeks. So, um, he is new to the flock, so um, I'm really excited about Tiki. We have been just having a ball out of Tiki. He is so sweet and loving. He always wants to be up on my shoulder or on top of my head. I will pop a picture up for you guys. Um, this picture is from when we first brought him home, and he just uh, clinged to me, basically, and he wanted to stay on my shoulder and on my head. So, um, we've been having some fun out of Tiki, but, um, we got his new cage set up and it's been so much fun watching him explore the cage. Um, he's pretty quiet right now. I think he's still just kind of getting used to everything. So, um, yeah, but that is my little introduction, a little bit of a longer introduction for my video. But today we have the Harlequin Plus subscription unboxing. And um, I'm going to let you guys know a little bit about the Harlequin subscription. It is $14.99 a month, and you can pick your selection of books each month from a variety of bundles. Um, you can choose ebook or print books. Now, the variations are different on each bundle. Sometimes you get one book, sometimes you can get up to three books. Um, even with the ebooks, I think I have seen even three, four, and five books um, per selection I guess you could say. I think that's about all I have to tell you about the Harlequin subscription. I don't remember what month this is for. I want to say this is from last month's box um, because I am behind and I'm going to explain that to you guys real quick. Um, I'm so behind because for the past, uh oh, Tiki just fell. <laughs> um, for the past couple weeks I have really been working very hard on um, something that is new and exciting for me. I have come up with a small business to start on um, and I've been working so hard on getting it done and getting it started. It is an Etsy business um, and I will show you guys what it is. So my business is I am creating these boxes and these are the 100 envelope savings challenge boxes. And in these boxes, I am um, I'm adding the little sticker labels to um, add each number to your box, however you would choose. And in these um, boxes, you have you have these little envelopes like this. I make each one of these myself. I hand make these, and these little envelopes open up, and you. Basically, you just fold your dollar or whatever cash you have that you're stuffing into the envelope. You stuff it into this envelope and you do not touch this money until, um, basically until you have every envelope in this box filled up. There is a hundred envelopes and normally people um, number these from one to 100 and whatever card you put or whatever envelope you pull out of there you stuff it with that much cash so it is a really fun way to kind of um save some money um i am going to be doing the 100 envelope savings challenge i will put my link to my etsy shop down below it's called the saving nest um but i have all these on my etsy shop and I would really appreciate some love on that Etsy shop. I have made one sale so far, um, and I did have some hoops that I had to jump through with Etsy um, on getting my information verified and all that good stuff. It was just some things that, um, because I had a new driver's license, they had to really dig to verify my information, so it was kind of a little bit of a headache. But we've got it all done, and it is all 
um, good to go. My shop is up. It is active and live. So go give it some love if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it. Like I said, it's just a really, really fun way to save money. Um, I'm going to think about making some smaller boxes like um, maybe a 52 or a 50 envelope or a 25 envelope challenge just like some mini challenges that you know if somebody's on a lower income budget or don't really have that much extra every month um, or every paycheck they can still participate in this fun little savings challenge and it'll be a good way to you know save a little bit of extra money here or there but you guys go check them out if you don't mind I would really appreciate the love on that I am working so hard to get, um, I have, I think I have seven boxes done all together and on my shop right now, but I'm working on more of those boxes and I'm also working on adding some other things to, um, that shop, hopefully coming in the near future. And I'm thinking about, um, maybe doing some vinyl stickers. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, um, when you order one of these boxes, I will put a vinyl sticker on top and it will say savings challenge. And um, you can do that in several colors. So you can choose your um, vinyl sticker color. It will look something like this. Um, I just did mine in white. Um, that was another little box that I had actually ordered from Etsy and I wanted to support another small business. So I ordered that smaller challenge. Um, here is my Harlequin box. I know I have um, rambled on long enough and I know you guys are ready for me to get into this box. Like I said, I think this is for, um, I want to say this is for August. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, it's shipped on 8-4, so this might be for September. I just picked my selection today for this month, so I will have that one soon. But when you open it up, here's what it looks like. It had some tissue paper on top. The two books I got is by Sasha Summers. This is the sweetest thing. And it says it's got a bonus story. Look how pretty that cover is. Very summerish. So we got that book. And we also got by Viola Shipman, The Edge of Summer. Again, another very summery book. That is really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna read the little um, synopsis on the back here. So it says, this is for the sweetest thing, a stolen family recipe has all the ingredients to turn a rivalry into romance. For Tansy Hill, nothing is sweeter than honey from her farm, except maybe revenge on the man who broke her heart and humiliated her all those years ago. Dane the Viking Nutson, I think that's how you say that, has been Tansy's rival since childhood, and though he's grown into a frustratingly handsome charmer, he's also standing between her and the Best Honey Award at the Honey Bee Festival, which Honey Hill Farms desperately needs to stay afloat. Fanning the sparks that have forever flown between them, the competition is on. Sure, Tansy and Dane have plenty in common, more than they'll admit, but Dane's plans to expand Viking honey are also on the line. When buried family secrets come to light, they'll have to decide whether taking a chance on each other is worth risking the happiness they've been longing for. And it says it has a bonus novella, and it says Camilla Hill had long since given up any hope of finding true love. But now she has two suitors vying for her hand and is faced with a decision only her heart can make. So that sounds really good. Next, we have The Edge of Summer, and it says, Devastated by the sudden death of her mother, a quiet, loving, and intensely private southern seamstress called Miss Mabel, who overflowed with pearls of Ozark's wisdom but never spoke of her own family, Sutton Douglas makes the impulsive decision to pack up and head north to the Michigan resort town where she believes she'll find answers to the lifelong questions 
she's had about not only her mother's past, but also her own place in the world. Recalling Miss Mabel's sewing notions that were her childhood toys, Sutton buys a collection of buttons at an estate sale from Bonnie Lyons, the imposing matriarch of the Lakeside community. Propelled by a handful of trinkets left behind by her mother and glimpses into the history of the magical lakeshore town, Sutton becomes tantalized by the possibility that Bonnie is the grandmother she never knew. But is she? As Sutton cautiously befriends Bonnie and is taken into her confidence, she begins to uncover the secrets about her family that Miss Mabel so carefully hid and about the role that Sutton herself unwittingly played in it all. So again, that sounds like another really good book. So I'm excited to have that book. Um, my uh, book collection is very rapidly um, expanding. So I'm gonna have to get some more bookcases. Um, this time I'm probably gonna get the um, much larger bookcases because the ones that I have now are just the smaller size cases. So I'm gonna have to go bigger because I can't go further out. I am running out of space, but that's what I got for the Harlequin Plus subscription. Let me know what you thought about this one down in the comments below. I will have the link to this subscription down in the description box below. That's all I've got for today's video. If you're not already, please go down below, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Give me a big thumbs up on this video. It would mean the world to me as well. And go hit that bell notification. If you want to be notified anytime I upload, I will see you in my next video. Keep a smile on your beautiful face. Bye.